or three minutes. When they first told me that I was going to give a speech as validatory, I really didn't know what to say. Should I talk about memories? Should I go on a rant? Should I, should I tell you what I'm going to do? Should I tell stories? No. I finally decided it was best to inspire you all as best I could for the futures that we're all going to share together, even if we won't necessarily be together. I could talk about things like living on college or being, in our, being on our own or taxes or something crazy like that. But I think it's better to talk about what we mean to the world specifically and what we're going to do with our lives for our careers or our goals. So we leave here today and we have one huge decision to make. What are we going to do with our lives? Sooner or later, it's going to come up. We might not have to make it now, but we will make it eventually. So how do we pick? If you're like me, I didn't know what to do when I first uh, became, when I first entered high school. So I did some research, I asked around, I went online, I even toured a couple places. And all the time I, I see different statistics. They tell me what the job entails, what would I do, how much the pay is, um, what's minority employment like. And I, I don't like hearing the minority employment thing. You know, people always say things like, oh, we're really underrepresented. And when I say we, I mean African Americans and Hispanic Americans. We're underrepresented in a lot of different things. And that's true enough, especially in fields like STEM or any leadership position for almost any career you can think of. And they tell us, you know, do this. You should be an engineer or you should, you should try to be a CEO. But I, I don't think that's the point. Our school is named after a historic president. The first African American president. <laughs> but I don't think he became president for that reason. I think he became president because that's his dream and he made it a reality. He didn't do it just to become the first black president, he did it because he wanted, he wanted to be the first Obama president. <laughs> and that's the point. Don't do something because you feel you have to just because you want to be the first to do something. Live your dream. I mean, if all we, all we need, all our, all black people and all Hispanic people need, <laughs> is, more people, is more people our age who aren't afraid to live your dreams, whatever it is. If you want to be a scientist, be a scientist. If you want to go into music, do music. If you want to be business, be business. But just make sure you're the best at it for whatever it is. And then the problem of being underrepresented will solve, solve itself. <coughs> Now speaking not as a minority student, but as a member of the human race who's no different than anybody else who's living on this flying rock, I just want to ask you guys for a favor. Whatever you do, whatever career or life choice you do, make sure you do things differently. I think we can all agree that the world isn't the way it should be. You can, there's so many problems. The environment, the economy, um, politics, racism, hate, war. Whatever you decide to do, just please don't do things differently. Every generation starts out the same as ours. Young, full of energy, mad at all the problems in the world, and now we can do something about it because now we're adults. But by the time it, they all grow up, and it's time to pass the torch to the next generation, it's always the same result. I mean, they might have fixed one or two things, but overall they didn't like what they saw, and they didn't change it the way they should have. You know, I'll never forget something that uh, Ms. Rainey said to uh, our sustainability class. It was me, Robert Hampton, and Raven in that class. We were talking about politics. And she said, you're right, things aren't fair. And you know what? They never will be fair until more people like you take the top office and make the decisions that, change, that affect everybody's lives. And you know, don't settle for anything less than the top, honestly. I mean. If you really hate something, don't just complain about it, do something about it. But when you do something about it, make sure that you're the one who made that decision and you alone. Good luck to all of you. And I know that no matter what you do, you can do it. No matter what you want to do, you can achieve anything you set your mind to because I believe in you. So thank you. <laughs>